am I going? What am I doing? What, what lies in my future? So I kind of lost myself for a little bit, um, struggled with, you know, mental health stuff. And I had no idea, really, why it was happening. Me and Chris spent, obviously, time apart. Um, yeah. You know, we did our own thing. We had our own plans after the Olympics, and that's great. You know, we had, you know, spent time with different people. One day that we did a media thing, that was the first time we'd seen each other since the Games. Both my, myself and Chris got to pour our hearts yeah. out and say, like, I have been struggling. Chris was the person who opened up and said, look, I've been having a hard time. And for me, that gave me the ticket to then say, I am yeah. also in a very similar position. You know, I've come into this year a completely different person. I'm so motivated. I'm, I'm super excited as well for the, you know, the rest of my diving career. I've got so much more to give. Coming back to training was the best thing for me, and doing that meant that I had structure in my life. I had a routine. I had something to wake up for. As soon as I got back on the board again, I felt at home again. I am so impressed with these boys. Very proud of them. That's gold. Law and Minas. Best mates, housemates, dive partners, Commonwealth champions again. I don't think for anyone it ever should be an easy ride. There always are going to be dips uh, and, and hard times and really, really hard times. But the most important thing is getting back up and facing them problems or fears or whatever they are and tackling them and then getting success after that because that really makes you worthy of being a champion.